Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn a diac triac triggering circuit. This circuit is used in a fan regulator or in a AC voltage controller for a small motor. It can also be used as a light dimmer. The figure shows a circuit diagram for a diac triac triggering circuit. This circuit consists of the source. Vs equal to Vm sin omega t. It is an AC source. This AC source is connected in series with the load. The load is then connected in series with the triac. The triac will switch the load on and off. The circuit shown over here is the control circuit. The gate of the triac is fed via an RC circuit. The voltage across the capacitor is fed to the diac which in turn will turn on and off the triac. The load used can be a fan, it can be a lamp and it can be used to control small AC motors. In the circuit, resistor R is variable whereas resistor R1 has a constant fixed resistance. When R is zero, R1 protects the diac and triac gate from getting exposed to almost the full supply voltage. Resistor R2 limits the current in the diac and triac gate when diac turns on. The value of C and potentiometer R are so selected as to give a firing angle range of nearly 0 degree to 180 degree. The variable resistor R controls the charging time of the capacitor C and therefore the firing angle of the triac. When R is small, the charging time constant is small. Therefore, source voltage charges capacitor C to diac trigger voltage earlier. And firing angle for triac is small. Likewise, when R is high, firing angle of triac is high. Higher the value of resistor R, larger is the firing angle. Vs shows the source voltage. Vc shows the capacitor voltage. During the positive half cycle, the capacitor charges through resistances R and R1. The capacitor charges up to diac trigger voltage VDT as shown over here. When capacitor charges to diac trigger voltage VDT, the diac turns on and hence the capacitor discharges through the diac R2 and gate of the triac. Therefore, triac turns on and source voltage appears across the load as shown in the waveform. Thyristor acts like a closed switch so voltage across thyristor is zero. At omega t equal to pi, source voltage is zero and tries to become negative. Immediately, the triac will turn off and entire source voltage appears across the triac. Load voltage will be zero. Since the triac has turned off, this part of the circuit has turned off. And now, since the voltage is negative, the capacitor now charges with the lower plate positive. The capacitor charges to a voltage of minus VDT. When the capacitor reaches a voltage of minus VDT, the capacitor will discharge through the gate and diac. The triac will turn on and voltage across triac will be zero. The source voltage appears across the load at pi plus alpha. At omega equal to 2 pi, again the triac will turn off 
and source voltage appears across the tri triac. The cycle will continue 